what the course is really about or what the course is really like. So first of all, let's debunk the meat. The meat? The meat? Pronounce M-Y-T-H. The meat. The meat. Meat. I'm not saying that. Let me say something else. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to HMS. I'm Omoba, as you already know. If you don't know, you are wrong. Okay, so today we'll be talking about the curriculum. But before that, I just want to tell you guys that I passed! Woo! I passed! Anyway, I'll be giving you the gist of, you know, passing MB2 and all of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you should catch up on our vlogs. So let's go into the curriculum of medical school. I know a lot of people want to go to medical school. A lot of people want to become doctors, but nobody really knows how it goes especially here in nigeria or even if you are abroad and you want to come to nigeria to study medicine you need to know what the course is really about or what the course is really like so first of all let's debunk the fake news that says that medical students spend seven years in school we don't it's actually six years well six plus x if you are in a federal or state university but as it should be six years the seventh year is the intern year but we'll get into that later and it's not a part of medical school year one what do you do year one differs from university to university some universities it's all the science courses some universities you don't get to do mathematics and then the rules or the parameters of moving into medical school proper it differs from school to school like i've said in another video you know in my school you have to pass all the courses if you don't pass then you'll be kicked out of medical school so basically 100 level is just like an higher secondary school class like an a level class if you would, if i can say that permit me to say moving on now into medical school proper we have the preclinical classes and the clinical classes the preclinical classes comprise 200 level and 300 level 200 level you'll be introduced into anatomy biochemistry physiology anatomy is about structure right the structure of the human body physiology is about how it functions biochemistry breaks it down more into what comprises what you know how this works with this and all of that so together you get to understand how an ld or normal human body is supposed to function how it carries out you know each daily tax that's basically the meat of it you will do these same courses in 300 level now it's different from school to school right in some schools 200 level you do an exam in some schools you don't do any exam but majorly you do your mb part one right you do your mb part one in 300 level and this is the first professional exam you have to do in medical school moving on you've passed your mb part one ooh, ooh. give it to them <laughs> Okay, you pass your MB part one exam. Time to move to your clinicals. Everybody is always super pumped to finally be in the clinical class. This is the place where you know you get to wear your ward coats to the hospital. You'll be wearing scrubs. You'll be seeing real patients. But to whom watch is given, much is expected. The clinical classes are gruesome. You'll be introduced into the pathology and pharmacology classes. You've learned how the normal body system works now you need to learn about disease states which are actually the states in which you get to see people people will only see you when they are diseased in quotes so you get to learn pathology is basically the malformations of the body it's basically biochemistry anatomy and physiology packed into the abnormal state so you get to learn all of that and then in pharmacology you learn about th um, therapeutics you know the drugs their dosages how they work your side effects and all that good stuff tough stuff but good stuff <laughs> so um the pathology it's really tricky because it's divided into four courses you have the histopathology morbid anatomy histopathology or morbid anatomy you have the chemical pathology which is like biochemical sciences you have microbiology which is a study of living um, microorganisms and then you have the last but not the least hematology which is the study of blood and blood disorders 
so that's 400 level when, now when i say that's 400 level i don't mean it in that that's the only thing you're going to do but that those are the exams that you're going to take in 400 level you are going to have your mbbs part 2 exams in 400 level and they will comprise pathology and pharmacology okay but the truth of the matter is that 400 level actually spans 18 long gruesome months yeah you heard me right 18 months there are usually no breaks and at this point medical school will be broken up into something we call postings so you have different postings for different um courses so to speak so the way it's run in my school is that you are introduced into pathology and pharmacology for eight weeks and then you go into medicine you'll be introduced into your 600 level 500 level courses so medicine and surgery pediatrics and ong you also begin to learn about this in 400 level but you won't take the exams until you get to 500 600 level kind of confusing i know but somebody decided this is how we get to learn medicine i don't understand why but it is what it is in 500 level you get into ong and pediatrics proper ong has to do with the study of women's reproductive parts and childbearing so the gynecology part has to do with the um, reproductive system of women and then the obstructive part has to do with childbirth and pregnancy and all that wonderful amazing stuff pediatrics it has to do with basically the medicine of children you know what is peculiar to them how their drugs should be taken how they should be treated and all that so in 500 level you take that exam i'm taking that exam very very soon pray for me i need it okay so you take that exam and then you move on to 600 level yay final year whoo 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 you made it to final year so here you get to focus on medicine surgery community skin medicine which I forgot to discuss in 400 level because you also be introduced to that in 400 level. And then special posting. Medicine is, hmm, how do we describe medicine? Medicine is basically taking everything you've learned, your anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, um, pathology, pharmacology, and then bundling it up and practicalizing it in the hospital as regards to treating adults the the children form of it or the child form of it is pediatrics you know taking all that and then practicalizing it with treating children so medicine has to do with that surgery as you know has to do with surgeries you know the art of invading the human body to treat an ailment or to make changes or cure a disease cure a malformation that's what surgery is about community medicine i like to say is the statistics of medical students or is the statistics of doctor it's basically the mathematical part of somewhat mathematical part of medicine you have research epidemiology other good stuff packed into community medicine i personally find it boring don't tell anybody especially my professors and the last but not the least is special posting. Now, I, I forgot to mention as a part of medicine is psychiatry, which is involved with the treatment of um, people with mental disorders. It also involves psychology, which is how the understanding of how human beings and why human beings behave the way that they do. So it's an amazing journey ahead. It's also very gruesome but it's fun it can be fun that's why we are here for you you know to make it fun so in 600 level you take exams which is your last exam the mbbs part four the exam that makes you a doctor although i don't agree with that statement because all the mbs technically make you a doctor but the exam that makes you a doctor and you get to be inducted is the mbbs part four and it comprises medicine surgery community medicine of which you also take exams on all um, on all the special postings. It's a fun journey. I hope you've learned something. I hope you understand to an extent how it goes. I know it can get very confusing in the clinical harm, but this is the overview. And I'm sure your school would give you a calendar once you're in the clinical school. So 
tell me what you've learned tell me if you have any questions in the comment section if you liked this video give it a thumbs up down there subscribe to our channel share this video with someone that needs it if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching catch you later bye